Good morning, gamers. <laughs> Put that back on there. Uh, is it still morning? <laughs> yeah, it's 11 o'clock. It's still technically morning. Uh, hold on. I'm going to fix my mic here. That should work. a little bit. Actually, no, we're going to keep that. I'll lower it a little bit on my end here. I hope you guys are doing great this morning. Did I have any plans for anything today? Absolutely not. The only plans I have is going to my parents' house. And I just felt like putting a little stream in before I went over there. Uh, I honestly just wanted to keep building my house in The Sims. I guess I could have just played my personal one, but I just wanted to chill and hang out and have morning coffee. I've got fancy coffee. <laughs> I got all that fluff up here. I have a frother and it's literally the best thing ever. Like it just literally has, look it, it's just beautiful. I love it. Absolutely love it. I also don't have a lot of makeup on. I really just put on some BB cream and I just put on some stuff to help out my eyebrows because they're kind of crazy in the morning but that's really about it I don't really have a lot on so it might look a little different I don't know probably can't even tell oh my god this coffee is amazing it really is though if you don't like bean juice that's totally okay I get it uh bean juice can be kind of bitter if it's not made right and sometimes that's the problem. Some people don't like it because they've only had like bad bitter coffee. Um, but yeah, there's lots of coffee out there. If you just just genuinely just don't like coffee, that's okay too. I mean, leaf juice. That's also pretty good. It really is. I love me some good green tea. Uh, I also recently did a poll on my Instagram about wanting to do streams on other stuff like my art stuff because I used to, oh, it was a while back, it feels like such a long time ago because so much has happened in the world since then, um, but it wasn't that long ago where I actually used to create and like sell some art. But it's been a really long time since I've done that. I kind of like stopped doing that and I focus more on like design and photography because that's like what I do for a living basically. Uh, but I kind of want to do it for streams too because I thought it'd be kind of fun. I just haven't, I just haven't touched it in a while and I just want to kind of get back to it and I thought it'd be fun to hang out with you guys and you guys totally agreed. I really appreciate you guys voting in the poll and letting me know that you guys would totally be okay if I decided to start streaming me creating digital art or some watercolor art. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that because 
I only have one camera and so if I do watercolor art you're really just gonna see my paper I mean I guess it's not a big deal but um, I just want you guys just want to get to see my little face which isn't that big of a deal uh, and then I also have to figure out what I will even would want to sketch for color so I don't know it's I'll have to think about what I want to do with that and how I want to start it but thank you for letting me know if you voted my Instagram poll. I really appreciate that. So eventually we'll probably, hopefully soonish, uh, start streaming some art stuff too, along with all the gaming stuff I have. Uh, Sorry, my coffee's like super good this, this morning. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, I guess we could just continue on into Sims because I really do want to figure out how to finish building my house. <laughs> the whole stream last time was just us building a house and I really liked it. We just got to hang and chill, which was totally cool. Uh, let me rearrange a few windows here. Uh, like I said earlier, I hope you guys are doing great. I hope your morning's been treating you well. I've really just got up. I walked my dog, had some breakfast. Nothing fancy. I don't do anything exciting. I hope you guys slept well. And I hope your coffee or your leaf juice, bean juice, whatever it is, I hope it's all delicious for you. lo-fi music on I just I just really like having lo-fi music on so we're gonna keep that on again like we did last time uh, I hope it's louder last time I noticed it was a little low when I went back and watched the playback of it Okay, okay, I think I finally got it all situated on my screen, sorry. Uh, I hope I can be buying a new desk soon. A bigger desk, because I have one desk and it's kind of small. Well, it's not small, it's an average size desk. But I'm running out of space for all this stuff that I have. And I want to be able to have two monitors and it absolutely cannot fit a second monitor at all. It's, it's way too small for that. I can I have enough space right now for the one monitor I have on but I definitely want a second monitor to make my life a little bit easier okay uh let's check out what the house looks like right now because I don't fully remember even though I just did it a few days ago actually let me move my mic a little bit let me lower it because it gets in my way when I'm trying to sim. I also would love to have one of those mics that attach to your desk and it's got like it's got like those big arm or whatever and you can just kind of like move it or push it wherever you need to. Like that would be really cool. I would love to have a mic like that someday. Because I would really like to utilize the space on my desk for other things. Because right now I have my camera, I used to have my camera on my tripod, but we recently got a camera mount. And so now you guys are like hanging on a camera mount that's attached to my desk and it freed up a lot of space, which is really, really nice. And so I want to do something like that for my mic. Uh, but I think those are super expensive. I don't know. I'd have to look. I haven't really looked into mics that much. Okay, so here we are. A 
Look at our cute little house. I think we did such a good job last time. Okay, so I really think we've finished the outside for the most part. I don't really know what else to add out here, so... I'm just trying to see how that is. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and I guess fix up the inside, which shouldn't take as long as the exterior. Oh, what's down here? Okay. Uh, I don't know why I'm able to do that. Uh, oh, I don't have my cheats on. Hold on. Testing. Oops. Ah. Oops. No, no. It's... Ah. Oh. Okay. Now I can put things wherever I want. Nobody's going to tell me where I can and can't put things. go the inside of a house looks bad I think I want to change this it's not bad it's just I'm not in love with it I think uh, we could put a different flooring down that would look nicer I guess we could have the whole area look like that because I don't really like that it's got this one little piece of gap right here Sorry. <coughs> Honestly, my coffee may look fancy, but it's really just coffee and milk. Almond milk. It's really all that's in it. What do I, what kind of flooring do I want to put here? I mean, it doesn't look bad. I just, I know I want something else there. Um, should I put another wooden floor or maybe? Maybe some tile? No, that's gross. Wait, is this what I have on now? No, but it's a lot smoother. I think that's what I was wanting. Something a little bit more cohesive together. I don't want something with a lot of texture on the ground. Oops, I don't want the grid back on. Uh, we need to do the bathroom as well. It's basically... Hmm. I guess we could put this one. I mean, it's kind of, it looks like those textured floors you'd see in like luxury bathrooms at like high-end hotels. Is that right? Am I, am I thinking of that right? Probably not. Uh, ew, no. Why is it all crooked like that? I mean, I guess that's not bad. What is this? Great gravel? Metal. 
There's linoleum. Uh, what is this stone? Mass, mass, and how do you say that? A brick floor, maybe? Classic rust tile. Not bad, not bad. Uh, but I want something else. I guess we should do something like that. That's not too bad. Antique stone tile, clean state. Oh, I like that. Let's use that one. And then we gotta use something on this walls because I'm not a fan of this wallpaper. Um, I have brick here. And then her bedroom's got like that dark wallpaper. a dark wallpaper on it because we already have dark flooring so maybe just like something grayish on the sides the slow-fi music is so chill Too bad. Is it still witchy though? Is it still giving the witch vibes? I think maybe if we use something else. Okay, so we have the enchanting dainty daisy on already. Looks better. Maybe we just keep it like that. Stop the clock, it's amazing. I don't want to listen to whatever this song is. Yeah. Maybe we do something that's more brown? Oh, maybe we do that in her living room. I like it in there. What if we just put this in her living room instead of it having it be in the bathroom? I kind of like it out here. Um, maybe not this in particular one. I'm straight vibing with this. This song. The Gothic house, uh, Is that too gaudy though? I don't know. I feel like it's too much. But I also am not sure in my decision here. <laughs> Do something like this keep it simple so at least got something more than just plain wall it's better better ish i guess 
I'll just keep it like that. I'll put stuff on the walls anyway, so hopefully it'll look a bit better. I still don't know what to put in the bathroom. I have these cool gradient wall. Oh, there we go. There we go. I mean, that's not bad. It's kind of cool. Maybe I put this in her bedroom? No. I want to keep her bedroom kind of dark like that. Oh, I missed a wall right here. There we go. Oh, over there too. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I guess we could just start putting furniture in here. I don't really know how else to get the sides and the walls and stuff all figured out. Uh, here I want to put the grid on though. Uh, I know you need a mailbox because I deleted it. Hello, hello, good morning. Well, I don't know if it's morning for you, but it's morning for me here, technically. It's 11.27 a.m., so it's technically still morning. Um, where do they have mailboxes? Oh, right here. Oh, what kind of mailbox should I give her? The Willow Creek mailbox is pretty cool. Oh, well then, good afternoon to you. It's too futuristic. Yeah, I guess we'll just go with this one. I feel like it kind of fits the theme a bit more. And then let's do the kitchen first. I always have to do the kitchen first. I don't know why. I just feel like I always need to. I don't know if it helps me place things better. I just know it's just when I start building, it's what I got to make first. Food quality, 6. Power consumption rating, 4. It's got an 8 reliability. And it's functional. Oh, that's cool. It's functional off the grid. It's pretty neat. Uh, what, kind of, what color should her appliances be? Uh, I want to put it there. And then a refrigerator. Not going to lie, the refrigerator looks pretty cool in this. This one. Oh, this white and black one looks really nice. See, I don't like her door being right here, though. I feel like it's kind of in the way. Maybe I should just move her door down here and then just move the bathroom like that. And then people have to go through her room to go to the bathroom. But honestly, who's really even going to be over? Probably nobody. Uh, I like her door better here for sure. Let me just move this back out. Okay, so I don't know if I, what color I want this to be. I kind of keep it bluish, brownish, white on white. Mm. I think we'll do that one. Do the black and gray. For the fridge, they just have it just black. Which is fine, but I was kind of hoping they'd have an inverted of this one. Like it'd be black and then it'd be white. I'm 
I guess they have this one, but then it's got like the gold hinges on it. I feel like I'm thinking way too hard about this. I'm just gonna make it black. Call it a day. I don't really care. <laughs> well, I care. Uh, oh, I have the auto counters off. Let me turn them on real quick. I just wanna place these down. I wanna keep her counters. What color do I want her counters? I uh, want. Uh, you didn't miss anything exciting. I'm still trying to debate what I want in my kitchen. I'm trying to decide what colors I want them. So I have the stove, kind of a black and gray, but then the refrigerator doesn't really have the same option. So I guess I'm just gonna leave it black. And now I'm trying to figure out what color I want the counter. Sorry, my house just decided to uh, make a weird noise. Oh my god, you're right. I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice the hand the hinges and all that in the refrigerator are gray. So it does match. I wasn't even paying attention. Well, I'm glad somebody paid attention. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have... Do I want them white? I want to put a little bit of color in her house. Let me just put it like that for right now. Is this lined up correctly? Yes. And then I'm gonna turn this off because I want a specific edge. Oh, also in case, I feel like I'll be saying this a lot, but a pro tip for counters when you're in build and buy mode, if it will automatically, when it auto counters are on, when you turn it, it'll automatically connect it, right? Well, that's all cool and stuff. But let's say you want something else. If you go over here to this little tab on the left hand side, or if you go over here and hit auto counters off, you now have these options for how the edges of the counters look. And it gives you different looks of the counter. So we have a right end piece that connects. Uh, some of them are pretty unique. Um, I think it's, is it this one I use? I think I used this one in my old house. My old house, my other play. So I have the auto counters off, but see how the right end piece now looks completely different than what the actual. So you can come up with like a cool like little hanging edge. And you can create like a little inner corner piece. So you can really just build whatever you're looking for. Who needs color if it's all black? It will be fun tripping. <laughs> Well, still want to be safe and want to at least uh, give some sort of color. I mean, all black and white is cool, but I don't know what I'm trying to say, honestly. Brain's still trying to process. Been awake for hours, but... Oh, thank you. I'm so glad that you're uh, able to learn. I feel, yeah, like it's all—it's kind of hard, I guess, sometimes watching people either stream or play The Sims because sometimes they just go through it. And so I try to want to give you guys tips because I know not everyone knows how to play The Sims. Uh, 
uh, I've been playing for a couple years and I feel like sometimes I'm still figuring out that there are things you can do. But I would really test out each counter because each one has like a different edge. Like this one is completely different from this guy. And then there we go. And those are all right edges for counters. So each one has a different has a different look. The Sims has just been around for so long. I feel like the Sims themselves probably feel like they don't need to tell people how to do things. Which is, I don't know. I mean, I guess they don't have to. People can Google things, but like I said before, it's just, it, it would be helpful for people who are new to simming or don't sim that much on how to go through things a little bit faster. I think they did explain this when the game originally came out, but that was back in, I don't know, 2014 or whatever, when The Sims 4 came out. It's old, a long time ago. Who's gonna go all the way back there to see if there's any helpful tips and random pieces of videos that they have? I know I don't, I don't have that much time. Uh, did, what did I, oh, I wanted to add a little, what is it? Kitchen counter? Or kitchenette? Whatever. I don't know. The island thing that goes there. The islands also have the option too for that. Uh, this one's not as cute as I thought it would be. Which one is it? Oh, it's this one. This outer counter is... Uh, no, it's not this one. Which one did I use? I used a counter in my previous game. I keep saying previous. It's my other save. To where the edges, like, came over to the side and it was super... It was super nice. That's cool. I didn't know Minecraft did that. Um, I've never played Minecraft, but I always thought Minecraft was kind of like The Sims, where you kind of just load it up and then they're like, okay, be on your way now. Um, I thought about playing Minecraft before, but I just never, I don't know, just never really felt like actually playing it. Was it this one I used? Yes, it was this one. So then you have, gosh, I'm sidetracking so much. So you have all of these. I thought the right, the edges for the counter will look kind of like this because this looks super cool. I have this in my other playthrough. But these counters don't have it, which I guess is fine. Well, I figured you do have to figure most of it out uh, in Minecraft. Uh, I'll be honest though, I probably won't join in Minecrafting. I mean, it seems like a like a chill, great a chill game. But it, I just, honestly, I just don't have any interest, I guess, in actually playing it. Like, I tossed the thought around, like, once in my head, and then I was like, hmm, it's alright. 
I'm fine in life if I don't ever play Minecraft. What counter was I using? Oh, this guy. Uh, outer corner. Don't want a round edge. Mm, not really. I think I want... Oh my gosh. I am so not able to focus yeah I guess this will do and then we're gonna put some stools because this is technically gonna be her table I'm not really gonna give her like an actual table thank you I'm a little bit. I'm glad you like it so far. Uh. Oh shoot, hold on. Am I playing in the right? Okay, yes I am. <laughs> I thought I was just playing in just some random playlist in Spotify and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get in trouble for that. <laughs> awake for hours and I still feel like my brain is trying to understand how to process in 4k right now I have coffee see it's fancy coffee or at least it looks fancy it's really just cold brew and I put almond milk in it and I have a frother so it makes my milk all nice and frothy can never have enough coffee or at least never enough caffeine I really like sitting in stools like I like stools um, but I hate stools that don't have a back to it like in the Sims obviously it's just a, it's just a game so who cares but like in real life I just hate sitting in stools that don't have a back. Like, it makes me feel old, but I just, it just hurts my back sitting there for a while. Oh, you just have regular hot coffee with cream and sugar. Honestly, it's so good. Um, sorry, I just had a stretch there. Um, Regular hot coffee with cream and sugar is delicious. Any kind of coffee is delicious. The only time I will judge people... <laughs> I shouldn't be judging people at all, but I really only judge people with their coffee orders is when they go to Starbucks and they get... They tell me they want coffee, but then they order a caramel frappuccino or a vanilla bean frappuccino that literally has no caffeine in it at all. Uh, I don't know. I just think it's funny people tell me when they want coffee and then they order ice cream a milkshake basically that has a little bit of caffeine in it if that's if that's the kind of coffee you like that's totally fine um i'm just a little bougie with my coffee so i just like to have cold brew and stuff like that but i don't know if it makes you happy be happy with all that sugar and all that coffee. Shoot, that stuff is delicious, though. The best coffee I made at home was French vanilla coffee with Oreo-flavored Oreo creamer. <gasps> what? That's a thing? They make Oreo-flavored creamer? Oh, my God. I absolutely love Oreos. One of my friends in high school, she used to call me Oreos. <sighs> I miss her. I should talk to her again. But... The point is, is that I did not know they made Oreo flavor creamer in it. Like cookies and cream, ice cream for me, top tier, top tier. That's, it's delicious. Like I, I feel like I need that in my life. I probably wouldn't use it that much. I'd probably go, I'd probably let it expire from not using it too much. But 
Sorry, there was a car going off. I just heard it. Um, that sounds amazing. Oreo flavored creamer. I absolutely need that in my life now. Um, as far as caramel frappuccinos, they are great. Uh, but I do not have a great relationship with caramel. Caramel, caramel, however you say it. Does it really matter? No. Because once upon a time, here, I'll show you, I'll show you. Once upon a time, before I started doing other stuff with my life, take these off. I used to work at a great place where you go get Starbies every day. My hat. This is, I literally call this my editing hat because I always wear it whenever I have a lot of editing to do. But I still have this hat from when I was working there. It was such a long time ago. I don't work there anymore. And the reason why I have such a bad relationship with caramel frappuccinos or caramel in general mostly is because people would get caramel frappuccinos, which is not a bad thing, and sometimes they would order like 10 billion of them which is also not a bad thing. It's a, uh, it's not that, how do I say this? It's, it's fine if you order a lot of carbon frappuccinos. My problem was that people would get, uh, people would get caramel frappuccinos and then like with the cup, they would get extra caramel in it. And it's fine that you get extra caramel, but there was one person that would get this at like I don't know, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning. I don't remember what time it was. I remember it was early in the morning. And they would get it and get caramel all around the cup, but then at the bottom of the cup where they wanted the extra caramel, I'm not joking. It literally had about an inch, maybe two inch of like just caramel sauce at the bottom. And he'd get that every single day. And I'm glad he was so confident in his order because he was like yeah I want this and I was like okay cool I got you dude you seem he was such a nice man but like it was just so much caramel and I just can't look at caramel the same now because of that man <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot um I don't know he was happy with it that's what he wanted you know kudos to him good good for you I just cannot can't do that and I there's just so much I don't know I just can't look at caramel the same after working there oh yeah I don't know I'm sorry I don't allow links in my chat uh, I just don't want people spamming just random stuff in there so it's okay I really appreciate you trying to send it to me I can I'll, I'll look it up later pretty sure it's pretty easy to Google uh, I gotta put a fire alarm because I'm pretty sure I'll burn shit down. Should I put a microwave? Should I make this? No. See, it's sold at Walmart. You can find everything at Walmart. What is this? This is a fancy sink. Oh my gosh, it's a peacock. You know what? That's kind of cool. What's... Oh. Oh, you're talking about the creamer. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the sink. That it was made by International Delight. I mean, the sink did bring me delight. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I'm going to put this in my house because I really like it. Yeah, it's, it's in the bathroom. Got it in there. Uh, you know what? Let's check. I didn't even check. I can't see the sink like that. There is. There's a black one. White and black. Black and gold. 
I'm gonna do the white and gray one because I. Uh, actually, that's too much gray. It does look good, but I feel like it's just. lot of it. I cannot see the sink like that. Maybe I just do the black and gold one. Right now I'm out here trying to do my kitchen. I was trying to give her a trash can to throw things away in. Put it right there and then give her some appliances. dishwasher yeah because who likes to wash dishes I don't I don't even like to wash off or at least rinse off the dish to put in the dishwasher the trash gives you money this one Next generation of trash disposal is hands free bin. Self sufficient. It converts waste into fuel. That's kind of cool. Uh, do I want to use it though? Nah, I think I'm okay. Um, I'll probably, honestly, I'll probably put this in my personal playthrough one. I didn't know there was a trash can. See, I've been playing for years. I didn't even know this trash can gave you money. Uh, well, we're playing with a witch right now, so I'm not too concerned about money. So I probably, I don't think I'll use it in this one. But like I said, I'll probably put it in my personal playthrough one because... That's a pretty neat thing. Uh, let's... Should I put one of these in? Gosh, my walls are high. Are they supposed to be this high? Um, I can better a little bit higher. Oh, that's smart. Honestly, that's really smart. I've never done the 100 baby challenge. Maybe I might do it. I've never done it before. Uh, but you know what? There ain't no heart in trying. Should we put some cabinets in? Oh, cabinets also do the same thing as counters. You also have the option to to do different looks with them. I kind of want to, but these don't... I guess this is the closest one, but they don't match. They don't have a cabinet that matches. That's one thing I hate. Like, I really want to use cabinets more often, but they don't have a lot of cabinets that match with counters. I mean, I guess technically this does, but... Um... 
I think I'm not going to because they don't really have one that matches. I don't really like it. Put a curtain up. Sims 4 has definitely gotten better with their curtains. Their curtains used to absolutely were not great. I did not like them that much. Gotten better, we'll say. a basic Bella curtain. Do they not have like witch curtains? I guess these ones technically could be witch curtains. Oh, I'm sorry if you just heard that. I don't know where that came from. Oh, I just had that one on. Oh my gosh, they're right here. I'm not even paying attention. Oh, those are huge. Uh, if you didn't hear, don't worry about it. <laughs> so difficult to pick out curtains. Can't a goth designing her house get some curtains? Oh, those aren't bad. Uh, do they have, oh, oh, is it this one? Oh my gosh. Get, get on the windows. There, oh my gosh, why is that so difficult? bad not too bad let's put some decor and plants because are you really a witch if you don't have 10 billion plants in your house just remove the windows she's gosh she needs no natural light <laughs> right maybe not maybe not uh she probably doesn't need all those windows but i want to put them in anyways because she's gonna get the natural lighting whether she wants it or not do they not have okay they have to i'm just probably missing it let me filter this by packs real quick because i want specific like magic stuff right now decorate her house in. Uh, is it a stuff pack? No. Wait, is it an expansion pack? I don't even remember what kind of pack it is. Jesus. Antique working scale? Ooh. She's not a vampire, you know? She's She'll be fine. She'll be fine. If she, if I, you know, I probably should have made her a vampire from how gothy her house is looking, but she's not a vampire. If she was a vampire, then maybe I contemplate it. I definitely want to put one of these. Uh, I'm gonna put this one. This one looks more witchy. Goth vampire, same thing. <laughs> Well, I mean, she's, <laughs> I guess, 
she's a witch okay i made her cute little thing i made her a witch so she's not she's not a fan of her i wonder if you can change a cults though i think that's what they call them in game cults cults I, they call them something specific but i wonder if you can like get rid of her magic and then switch her into a vampire in game like i wonder if that's a thing or if you just have to start over from scratch or something Oh, the interior changes. That's neat. That's cool. That's actually pretty cool. I want the one with all the butterfly and stuff in it. I'm going to keep this one. Yes. I'm just going to stick it right there for right now because I don't know where I'm going to put it. decor stuff thank you oh also this was a feature the sims 4 built in for how you build stuff so they have the build section and then, oh let me get rid of my filter they have the build section and then they have the build by room i don't remember this being in the sims 3 it's been a really long time since i played the sims 3 though but i'm pretty sure this wasn't in there where you can section search for things specifically for different rooms which i thought is really cool uh and then you also have the option which was the normal option where you search for things by uh object which i thought was pretty cool were you able to filter things in the sims 3 i think you were i think you were This is all my decor options. It's not a lot. Uh, let me look for vampire stuff. Yeah, it can be kind of uh, difficult to find things. I still have trouble finding things. Uh, that's why sometimes, like I am right now, I'm filtering things because I know I want. I know I want stuff from specific packs. Uh, but you can also look things up by style, colors, all this stuff. You can even, I believe you can type it in also. Are you? Are you able to type things in? Oh, no you're not, but it, it helps a little bit. Oh my gosh, shelves are the hardest thing to find. I don't know why they're so difficult. But I had the hardest time. I actually have to go into objects by functions. I think they're in storage. I think. See, I'm I still. Is it in decorations? They're in a, a weird spot. Oh, see, now I don't even know where to find them. Where are the shelves at? Are they in wall decorations? There's a spot for where you can find specific things and it's so hard to find. Storage, so dressers, and some bookshelves. Oh, now I see, I don't know where the shelves are. Oh, here it's surfaces. Why? See, I don't understand why shelves are in surfaces. But they're right here. They have all these different shelving options. And they're so difficult to find. I don't, like, I don't know why they put them in surfaces. I mean, I guess I understand it, but why? But why, you know? In miscellaneous, I never use the stuff in miscellaneous, but they do have some cool things in here. Oh, I guess I do use the things in miscellaneous. So I have used a lot of that stuff. Was, oh my gosh, it's so hard for me to focus. But that's just normal. I just try to do 10 billion different things at one time. 
kitchen appliances. Oh my god, I asked this question like 10 hours ago. Did I want to put give her a kitchen appliance? <laughs> I gave her a dishwasher, right? Yeah. kitchen. <laughs> I really don't know. I want to give her some plants. Sure, I want to put some plants in here. Uh, one of these is kind of cute. Oh, see, if you're putting things on the wall and they're trying to snap to a grid and you don't want it, you just hold Alt and your mouse can just snip it wherever it wants. You know what? That's a good idea. Let's give her the Impresso Espresso. Oh my god, this thing is huge. Uh, where can... It has to be placed on a specific object? What kind of object? Um, uh, can, can it just be like any counter or... What does this have to be placed on? It is the shelf. Coffee tables? No, that doesn't sound right. Does it have to be placed on one of these? What are you supposed to be placed on? Uh, I want to try to figure it out before I look it up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, where is it? Where is it? No? <laughs> yep, that's it. It has to be put up on a... on a specific bar. That's just... <laughs> that's, a, that's annoying though. It has to be put on an espresso bar, because this one comes with one attached, see? And this one didn't. And that is kind of annoying. When did I get this? Yeah, that is kind of annoying, but we can still give her a coffee. Coffee machine, I think. Yeah. I have this one in my house. Not this specific one, but I have one of these in my house. This one's a bit more clunky than mine, though. Mine's a little bit more compact. Still kind of big, though. Yeah, it does look like mine. It's got the little fancy espresso thing, and it's got the steaming wand. Buttons up there. I have one of those too. I have a cold brew maker. Maker, to say. You really don't, you really just need like a container that can hold like 32 ounces and a filter. And really, that's all you need. I bought mine off of Amazon. And you have to just remember you have to let cold brew steep for like 24 hours. This is... It's supposed to be like that? I'm gonna assume so. But yeah, you have to remember cold brew has to steep for 24 hours. Uh, I don't like drinking regular iced coffee because... 
iced coffee is really just regular coffee just poured over ice which is fine but I just don't want that it just has the same amount of caffeine so I like brewing cold brew because it's the strongest coffee you could get and it's a lot smoother I believe the acidity is higher depending what kind of uh, brand you or what brew you get meaning if you get like a light brew a medium brew or a dark brew Uh, I think I want to put this. Yeah, I'm going to put it right there. You just got to put it in your fridge. Or actually, you have to let it hang out on the counter. If you get like a little container, like I got mine off of Amazon that has a filter in it. Filter inside. So you just let it sit on the counter for like 24 hours. And then after you take the filter out, you dump the grounds out, uh, you can just put it in your fridge. It doesn't need to be a big bulky one. Unless you want a big bulky one. Like I want a big bulky one. I have I drink too much coffee and it's a problem but it's fine it's totally cool this is nice oh yeah this is nice let's put this on I like that. I like that a lot. Can I? Yes, I can. Wait, machine, what are you talking about? Like, uh, like one of these? Like, this is an espresso machine. So this is what I have in my house. And it makes espresso, like you make lattes and stuff like that. A cold brew maker is a bit more compact like this. Um, you don't really, it doesn't need anything fancy. You really just need cold water and, and coffee and pour it in there. If you don't have space for the container, then that's, that's different, you know? That's okay, you know? Oh, well, I'm sorry about that. You don't have a lot of space for the container. Uh, do you give her... I really don't know what kind of lighting to put in here. Like, a, I feel like a chandelier is a bit much. So I don't really want to put that. I mean, I guess this one's okay, but I want... Oh, I put this in my other house. I love this lighting. Wow, this is... Why is this so difficult? <laughs> oh, that would work. Let's put one there. And we're gonna put one right over there. Take this. Uh, maybe I shouldn't put that back. Move it down here for a sec. Yeah, so much time on just one room. My gosh. But to be honest, I'm not entirely focusing on this because we're over here talking about coffee and honestly, coffee will always, uh, will always take my attention away because coffee is a little too great, you know? It's literal magic. Like you just put some pits of a cherry, you grind them up, you put water with it, 
and then all of a sudden you're alive. Like, I just it's it's astonishing to me. Okay, now we're gonna put in some stuff for her living room. Should I give her a TV? Does she need one? What kind of couch should I give her? Oh, I like this one. I am trying to keep her as a goth witch aesthetic thing. Maybe not fully black. Oh, that's nice. Uh, her... Okay, so... Like that. And then let's give her a coffee table. Oops. Surfaces. Coffee table. Oh, yes. This matches the door. And I love it. put stuff in here? Guess I can store things. Ooh, a wand display. Yeah, she needs one of those. Oh, it has to go. Okay, let's put it on a specific end table for it then. Vibing with this lo fi music. Oh, I don't like that one. has to be on something like a coffee table. That's dumb. Uh, can I put it on a shelf? Maybe? Nope. It has to be a coffee table. Oh, wait, what about one of these? Yes! Okay, I can go on one of those. looking one. I see this is fine, but I don't like that texture up top. Uh, what about this one? Oh, oh, no, that's an actual shelf. I don't want that. Uh, you know what? Let's turn this. There we go, like that. And then electronics, we're gonna give her a little TV. This one hangs on the wall. That's fine, like that. Move the 
this up just a smidge. And I want to give her a nice rug. Uh, where is it? I saw a really good. Oh, I think it was this one. Oh, jeez. That's a rug? Where would you go if this thing worked? Where will you land? In another place? Another time? Is this a portal? That's crazy. This... I feel like this should be something else, not a rug. <laughs> I like it a lot, too. Uh, I feel like this should... Oh, that's cool. I feel like this is a lot, though, to put in a house. Oh, that's, that's, that's too big. And that's also too small. Uh, there was... I wanted to use a rug from the back. Uh, are you talking about the this guy making it smaller? I mean, the size isn't really what bothered me. Like I thought the size was okay. I mean, it's a little big, but it's just really glowy and stuff. And I don't know. I just felt like it was a lot. I feel like it was a little too much. Um, I really like this rug though. Ah, stop it. I'm not trying to grab the room. Jesus, that's huge. It's a big room. Big rug. We're gonna use that I need curtains. Well, I don't need them, but I think they would look nice. These are, this is an awning. I don't want these curtains. Those are too, too grand. Too grand for what I'm trying to do. Ugh, no, I don't want to eye color. I want to recolor. I want to eye drop it. Okay, I need these guys. Yeah, there we go. I can make them. Um... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, I need some decor. There is none for that. What are all my options? Not a lot. Magnifico, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like getting a little stiff. Uh, you know what? Give me a second. Uh, I actually need to go to the bathroom real quick. So, I'm gonna BRB real quick. You guys get up, stretch, and I'll be right back.
you're absolutely right. I definitely was. <laughs> Thank you. do I want to do? What else do I want to put in here? I'm not in love with the little TV stand I have. Uh, take that off. They don't really have many options and that's kind of annoying. Get rid of that. I like that better. Let's use that one instead. What? Oh, get rid of that. The lamps. Um. Do people ever? Well, I guess some people would use these for like designing and stuff. What is this? That is very Victorian, I feel like. Uh, what? That's kind of cool. It looks like a little gemstone. put in her house as a floor lamp like I really don't know use one of these maybe see they don't have very many options and that kind of sucks legitimately don't know. Maybe I shouldn't put one. Maybe I should just use a chandelier. I could put another one of these. Here, that. Actually, let's put one right there, and then we're gonna put another one right here. And then let's take this one out. Yeah, I like that. And then take that away. plants. You can never have too many plants. A fern plant. Oh, that's too big. There, and then Oh, these are so cute. <gasps> She's getting one of these. It's too adorable. Look at that. How could you not? Oh, it's a little husky. <laughs> okay, she's getting one of each. One of each. Now for some wall decor. Or a cobweb. 
Oh, wow, okay. No, that's chill. As long as you're having a good time, that's all that matters. Uh, scratches on a wall. All right, all right. Uh, what else can I put on a wall? Put one of these on the wall. Maybe I should put one of these also. Maybe not over here. Let's put it somewhere else. Oh my gosh, I hate that I cannot turn the room while holding something. Yeah, over here. It's a big empty space. There we go. Oh, there's something there. Uh, any sculptures we could put in? Oh, that's so cute. A little fairy. I wish they included fairies in the Nash in the in a supernatural pack. I I wish they had a supernatural pack for The Sims 4. Like they had for The Sims 3. Like you had like fairies, werewolves, witches. Uh I think did vampires come with that? Or there was something else in there. But it was super cool, and I wish they had one for this because I've missed being a fairy. I really like the fairy aspect. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, there's like hanging plants too. Oh, well, that's not it. Uh, no, 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 no. There's. I need to go back here. The decorations. Miscellaneous. Okay, there's gotta be stuff in here I can put. Oh, I gotta put stuff in my kitchen too. There's like nothing in here. Give her some utensils. And some paper towels because everybody makes a mess. Oh, she needs mugs because she's got an espresso maker. She needs all of the mugs also. That and that together on one and then I have ivy on the outside. Should I bring them inside as well? Should she have hanging ivy in her house? Okay, can I pick... Oh, it's just the outside. I wish we could make, like, choose the flowers in it so it's not as colorful. I want something a little bit more muted or cooler tones, I guess. Um, I don't really know what else to put on her wall. I guess we put one of these. Right about there. And then I want to put, she needs uh, one of those umbrella things. Where is that at? That she has to have or else she won't have an umbrella, which is kind of annoying, but what can you do? What can you do? It's actually nice that you it's a usable feature. But the problem is, is I need to find it. It's probably not in here. It's probably in the decoration spot. Where is it? Oh, oh no, those are treats and stuff. That's a coat rack.
Where, where is the umbrellas? Oh, here they are, here they are. I found them, I found them. There you are. Should I put like an entryway rug? Like a small one? something like this yeah that's nice why not right now your focus you're on the outside and I don't want you on outside I want you on the inside uh, maybe not maybe I'll just there we go Too bad. Any other decorations I could put in her house so to look cool? Uh, she needs a stack of books. She is a bookworm, so let's put something like that there. I guess. I mean, she lives by herself, so who cares? I think that's all we're gonna do in here. Oh, should I put one of these in? Does a goth witch have these in her house? okay I think everything looks okay right now uh the bedroom and the kitchen bedroom kitchen bedroom and the bathroom are usually a lot quicker because what do you what are you gonna put in there really uh bathroom give her a shower this is my favorite shower that came with the fitness pack Ooh, but they have a magic one I didn't know that Oh, I thought there'd be some cool magic one in here too for bathtub. I guess not. Uh, hold on. Sorry. I'm trying to readjust real quick. I'll just give her a simple bath. I mean, I guess this this one will be fine. Like that. Uh, she needs a toilet because everybody's gotta go potty. See, how can they give you like a tub, a or how can they give you a shower and a toilet and a sink, but not a tub in the pack? Like, I don't understand that. And now let's give you a mirror. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's give you a little mirror. Bathroom. 
absolutely love that mirror. And then some simple decors for in here. Didn't you have my wand on you? Where did that go? Oh, it's over there. Okay, so get rid of you. I didn't even notice you were there. You blended in too much. Let's move that up. Up. Go. And then one of these. Can this go on the sink? No. That's kind of annoying. And then everybody needs a shower caddy. My personal opinion. There we go. And then, oh! I guess some curtains wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. Or some blinds? I don't know. Uh, actually, let's do this one. It's too big. They're pretty thick. I don't really... Those are up high, this, these ones. Oh my gosh. Curtains are literally so difficult to put on. Why is, oh my gosh, line up. If this one's higher. Oh my gosh, why is this difficult? Why, why is this difficult? Okay, taking that off. See, I don't want those curtains because they're, they're too... Can you at least... What? Right there, there we go, there we go. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Can you level? Can you level with the? There we go. Jeez, that was difficult. Why was that so hard? Okay, I think hopefully got stuff in the bathroom figured out, and then her bedroom. Uh, let's give her a nice little cool bed. Ooh. Is that stained glass at the top? Oh my god, it's stained glass at the top. Stained glass windows at the top of her bed. Are you absolutely kidding me? That is so high end. That's so bougie. That's <laughs> She's getting it. She's getting it. <laughs> Who does that? Who has like stained glass windows at the top of her bed? Uh, let's do... Let's just do that one. Yeah, that looks cool. And then... I put an end table. We don't have to, but I like to. There, there, and then some lights. Oh, 
What is this song? Just need an end table light. What's this? Crystal of the air? Purify the crystal. Toxic be gone. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's put one of those in here. Oh, oh, oh. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's change it. Yeah, to white. And then dresser. Oh, where is it? There was a dresser that was. Am I thinking of this one? I'm probably. I probably am. Probably thinking of that one. completely black but that's kind of dark also uh we'll just leave it for now because i i'm not sure i want to do the sheer ones that i did in the bathroom i like those oh please oh gosh why is it so hard to put curtains on Not even wide enough. Oh, thank you for the follow. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Super excited you decided to join. Uh, right now, we're trying to figure out what we're doing. I'm trying to get curtains on the bedroom. I'm glad you're excited to be here. I'm super excited that you're here. Um, it's getting worth $4. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think the game is worth the money, but I think it's worth the money now. When The Sims 4 originally first came out, it definitely was not worth it. They added a lot of stuff to the base game. Um, so it's nice. trying to figure out what curtains to put in here. Oh, those are too big. Wow, you had to pay five dollars? So expensive. Oh yes, okay, we're gonna put the purple ones for sure in here, and then we're gonna put the smaller purple ones over here on the side. There we go, and then, oh, she needs a rug and a mirror. Uh, there was... Wait, you guys actually- okay, wait. Uh, you guys are joking, right? Like, you didn't really get the- did you really get the game for five dollars? <laughs> Like I, I need, I need to know. Is it really that much? Seriously, the game's like four dollars. You guys are trolling me. You're trolling me. I swear, you're trolling me. It's not. There's no way. No way. <laughs> you guys, I had to pay the original amount when it, the game first came out because I. I bought the game when it came out. 
You're telling me that now I could only pay four or five dollars? Oh wait, Steam isn't isn't Steam like having an EA cell or something? Steam has a lot of cells. Oops. Oh yeah, see, uh, oh I do use Steam to play my games, uh, but I bought this through Origin because at the time EA. I think partnered with Origin and only Origin was allowed to have The Sims at the time because the game had just got released. So I did not pay even $48 for the game. I had to pay the original, oh, I don't even remember, but it was, I think it was like something like they're like $48, $50, something like that. Uh, oh, a rug. That's what I want. I want to use a rug. CD keys and instant gaming. And um, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know what any of that is. I don't know what CD keys. Anba is. Is that how you pronounce it? That's cool though. If you use them. Um. Where is... Oh! That's cool! That's awesome! Oh, where is... Should I put... That's not too bad. You can do that. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, let's put something on her walls. A little bear. Oh, and she needs lighting. I mean, I guess I could leave that one in there, but I want different lighting in her. In here. Oh, yeah. They probably made the base game, like, super cheap. Because they have so many DLC expansion packs and then stuff packs. Which is all different. I don't know why. But, yeah, they have so many of all of those. And that's where they're going to get you. It was a lot to purchase. And I just stopped buying stuff because I felt like after a while they kind of stopped fully thinking out the packs. Because sometimes you get like maybe 10, 15 items, even if that. And it's like, why am I going to pay $35 for stuff or $20? It's just, it wasn't worth my time. But they're getting better, I think, at thinking this stuff through and making stuff more fledged out. What was I? Oh, lighting. What's the dust pack? Uh, let's... I don't know. I don't want to think too hard about these lights. Uh, let me just copy some more of these. But I already have lamps in here. It's still not very bright. Uh, yeah, it should be fine. 
Okay, I think we finally have the house done. Like, I think, I hope. Oh, I wanted to put like a little sofa or something out here. She does not have anything like witch related, really. She doesn't even have a computer. Uh, does she need one? Let's put one of these out here. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. cool uh, yeah keep it as it is and she does not like have anything witch related what was her what is she spellcraft and sorcery that's what I gave her okay so Give her a cauldron because are you really a witch if you don't have one? Put it right outside. There and then. Oh, did I get a fancy one? Oh, I did get a fancy one. Oh, she's got a fancy one now. Uh, what else should I give her? What is she? I totally forgot what she likes to do and stuff. I've been in here for so long. She's a bookworm. Uh, she likes gardening and she doesn't like fishing. So let's give her some plants. Uh, yeah, let's give her one of these. I'm gonna put it right up here. Yeah, those two should be fine. And what else? What else? Uh, what else? She didn't like... Music, gardening, fishing. Okay, she doesn't like fishing. Uh, oh, let's put a thermostat in. And then... This thing, I know, it gives her books and stuff, so that's okay. I don't really know what else to give her. I feel like... I feel like she good. I mean, we could give her a chest set, I guess. She got a cauldron. Slab it. <laughs> the slab it. <laughs> She's got that. Is that really all she gets like for a witch? Is this a cauldron? I guess so. Uh, but I think that about does it. Her cute little house. Uh, oh, let's put a light outside. What kind of outdoor light should I? Ooh, this is cool. I've never seen this one. We're gonna use it. On both sides. Wait, is that even? That is... Oh, I did it. It was even lit. There we go. There's her house. It's currently winter. Uh, so I don't know if the weeds actually look good as flowers yet. We'll find out when we get there. And then we've got... We've got her little entrance with that. 
I wanted to put like glass right here so it at least protect this area from uh, the weather and stuff. Uh, let me. I really want to see if I could put something right there. Do I have to put like a roof or something on top? And then make it flat. Can I can I cheese it this way? Ha! I can and I did. Was it? I think it was this one. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I like this. Uh, do I want to keep it as just that one? Do I want to put the... Honeycomb. Uh, I think I'm gonna do diamond. I'm gonna do diamond. There we are! I love it, guys! We did it! We finished the house! Let me save it so I don't lose everything I just did. Um, can I check out the... Yeah, I can check it out. Uh, send me the... Your code again, because I don't remember what it was. And I forgot that I had coffee! Head to the gallery. Right off. Am I not connect? Okay, that's weird because I wouldn't be able to stream unless I was connected to the internet. <laughs> it again. Copy. There we go. Oh, is this the house you made? Oh, why do I go back? How do I go back? I want to go back. Uh... Look at it. That's not bad. It's a cute little house. Oh, and I love cherry blossoms. What is this on? A 40 by 30. Oh, I was going to place it on my lot real quick just to see how it looked. Like, really looked, but I can't. My lot's too small. You did a pretty good job for your first build. I really like it. And I love that you have like a little pool back here. And I just absolutely love cherry blossom trees. I always usually, I normally put them on my houses. But I didn't want to do this one because we're trying to give her like a goth witch aesthetic. I think you did a good job. Really good job for your first build. I, my first build was absolutely terrible. Oh, 
look at your little patio porch thing. That's cute. It's like a little entryway. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oh, and then you got the back door, and then the patio's back there. Okay, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> yeah, houses can end up being pretty expensive once you finish giving it, like, the upgrade. Uh, let's go... Mesh world. It was a 40 by 30 lot. We're just gonna go in here real quick. Uh, it looked like it was, yeah, one of these. Gotta put windows on the side over here. Ah, uh, yeah, I get that. Oh, and you even put a hot tub. Oh, I gotta use one of these. I hardly ever use. <gasps> See, this is cute. I never would have thought of like putting like this as a gazebo. That's so smart. And then I don't know if you saw, but they have like cool like pool options where you can like add like trim and stuff. And then you can even change the color of your water. And then, oh, oh, and then they also have uh, stuff you could put inside your pool or around it. And then this stuff, once it's on, once, once you're in live mode, this will like shoot out bubbles. And then your sims can jump in and splash, hang out. Cool. That's fine. I like it. I think it's nice. Turn the grid off. What a cute build. I think you did a great job for your first first try. Ooh. Look at that! See, I never would have thought of putting two tables together to try to do that. I put windows where they are needed on the inside. <laughs> oh! Wait, wait! I have never thought of doing that. That... Oh my gosh, this absolutely blew my mind. I never would have thought in my life to like stop the wall and have the counters kind of be the wall so that way you can like have an over the counter feel. That's awesome. Oops. Oh, what a cute little room. Oh, it's like a little entertainment system. That's cool. This is cool. I think this is a great job. Uh, oh, what's over here? Oh, it's a little workout station. You know what? That's maybe that's why I would never thought of that because uh... no, in the first in my house as a kid, there was a uh... our kitchen was kind of like that where. They had cabinets hanging, and then they had this part right here, so it was like open space, but you could still walk in on the side. But it still just never occurred to me to like build my Sims house like that, and I thought I think that's such a neat idea. This is totally cool. Uh, I don't know. You're you're. Probably will need like stairs right here though because I don't think your sims can actually get inside the house like that uh, And this might be too close to the edge to be able to do that 
just because it's like lifted slightly. I might be wrong though. Once you have a sim in here, they'll probably just walk right in. But oh, what door is this? I've never even seen this door. Oh, it's a sliding door. That's neat. Okay, cool. As long as the sims can get in, that's fine. Nobody says you have to have stairs. I like it. I think it was a great job for your first build. A lot better and more creative than I would ever thought of. Um, but we've already been streaming. Oh shoot. It's, we've already been streaming for like two, almost two and a half hours. Um, I think I am going to leave it here for this one next time when we come in we can actually come in and play and check out what this expansion pack is uh because i've never really well i kind of have but not really fully explored what each expansion pack can do so i'm hoping now that we're playing the sims we can kind of do that i'm really excited to check out what this one is what the spell casting is uh, i don't really know what a cauldron does i can literally cook mac and cheese Am I literally able to use this as an oven? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, hers is different. Spellcaster charge, regular. In this range, all magic behaves normal. No additional benefits or dangers. Ooh, see, okay. I'm excited. What is all this? Current rank. Talent points. <gasps> oh okay yeah 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 we're definitely gonna be checking this out all next time because next time now that we finally finished building our house we can uh explore this a bit more but i have things to do and i didn't realize that it's already almost 1 30 so for now we're gonna leave it here we'll come back next time uh but thank you guys for hanging out i really appreciate it i love hanging out with you guys uh this really was just a spontaneous stream and so i'm glad you guys decided to come hang out with me i had a great time um Thank you for making the stream uh, super fun, super amazing, and I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else to say, but bye guys. <laughs>